Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Movie Studio 17 Platinum tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly best render settings for this software. It actually released a couple days ago, and if you guys haven't seen the walkthrough yet, make sure to check out the link down below, or you can click through the card, and as well in the outro, you can click through the video. So I got approached by a lot of followers on uh, Facebook mainly, and also on Instagram DM, like, can you show us a video about how to make the best render settings? So instead of like typing everybody, uh, uh, the answer and I'm just gonna create the video and if you guys also want to pick up this program you can find the first link down below in the description so you can go to the web page and you can pick up the software and get straight to the editing if you guys are excited for this video as always make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and let's get into the best render settings for YouTube whether it's 1080p it's 720p 50 FPS 60 FPS 30 FPS the whole thing actually right after the intro Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Movie Studio 17 Platinum and obviously this is just a video for the render settings. So I'm just going to drag in a simple checkerboard because we don't have like a finished video. We're going to just pretend that this is going to be our fully edited and finished video. So what you always want to do is you want to make sure that you will select everything in your timeline that you want to export. Then what's really cool is you can also click on, for example, project, you have multiple options options when it comes to exporting. So the main difference between this and Vegas Pro is actually that you don't have to click on file at the top, but it says project. Then you want to make sure that you don't mess up or confuse any settings because Vegas Capture, if you click that, that's not going to, for example, capture and export your video. If you click on there, it is actually going to capture your webcam, your monitor, everything like that, your audio as well. So I'll just cover this feature in an upcoming video. So for now, we're going to go to a project and we're going to hit render as just like like you would do usually. So then the format I would recommend is going to be Sony AVC slash MVC. Now, obviously we have multiple video formats such as Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. We have Windows Media Video. We have XD Cam. I would just pick the Sony AVC slash MVC. Then you want to basically pick the internet 1920 by 1080. And then it comes to the point where you want to decide, all right, what kind of so resolution and FPS do we want? So let's say that we're going to pick 1920 by 1080. If you want to render in 30 FPS, you're good to go. Just give your video a title at the bottom and you can render in 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. But let's say that you want to render your video in 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. You're going to pick the top one, the standard one, and we're going to hit customize template. Now, right here at the bottom, it says the frame rate and it says 29.970. You want to basically change that one to 60. So then when you actually done that, you want to also go to the project tab at the very bottom. It's really important that you don't forget this step. And you want to click on video rendering quality, put that one to best. Now, if I go back to the video tab for a second, you can also choose what kind of FPS you want to render. So I just filled in 60, changed up to 59, 940. But let's say that you want to render your video in 50 FPS. You just want to type in 50. If you want to pick 30 FPS, fill in 30. So it actually depends on what you want. If it's going to be 30 FPS, 50 or 60 FPS. So I always render my videos in 60 FPS because I record them in 60 FPS. So you want to make sure that your project properties are also matching your recording settings. And then you want to keep all the settings just untouched. Let's say that you want to also render your video in 720p 60 FPS. Just change up the frame size to high definition 1280 by 720. And then just also choose your frame rate. So if you fill in 50, now the video will be rendered in 1280 by 720p 50 FPS 
60 FPS, 30. You guys, know, it's really straightforward. You guys have seen this menu for years now. It's that simple. So when it comes to audio, make sure that your audio is obviously included right here. Also pick the audio format to AAC. The sample rate is going to be 48, but the bit rate, I would actually recommend to put that one to 320. That will make your audio sound the absolute best. So when you've done that, you can just go back to the video tab, check all your settings. And obviously you can give this one a name at the very top. For example, render preset. You want to click on this diskette icon to save it. You want to hit OK, give your video a title, for example, gameplay, and then you want to hit render. So that's basically how simple it is, guys. These are the best render settings for a Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 17. Now you guys know how to do it, and now you can actually start exporting your videos the right way. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for the continued support. Now you guys know how to render in 720p, in 1080p, in 60fps, 30fps, 50fps, all the settings. So if you guys like this video and if you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot for the continued support, and I will see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's video. So guys, that's it for this f***ing video. <laughs> oh, I call me on that. That was such a good take I did like 10 minutes ago. Let's try that again, shall we? Focus, come. Blijf gewoon f***ing... Ah.